Thanks for staying with us. Over the weekend, we saw <coughs> videos about Nigerians being mistreated and maltreated at an airport in Togo on route um, Ethiopian Airlines. And um, the video obviously went viral, and um, many people have expressed their concerns about how Nigerians are treated abroad. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs have sent out a press release saying that they're on top of the investigation has started. Uh, we also said in the papers today that the Nigerians affected have been brought home already. Uh, and then we'll, we're waiting to hear reports from official reports on exactly what happened mm. and if persecution will take place afterwards. However, the real crux of the conversation is why do we have to always get Nigeria? Why are Nigerians being treated this way internationally? So a lot of times Nigerians are treated like this. We have the Tunus case in question in African countries. So these were two travelers who had stopped at uh, Lume to get a flight to get them to Lagos. They were coming from the U.S. And that flight was announced full. So what is the right thing to do? If people had already booked, did the flights not have a schedule of the number of people they were going to carry? Mm. Were these people just told that they were going to fly without, be, without booking, making any arrangements? Of course, they made arrangements and they had relied on that representation that there will be a flight available, this, a seat, and probably made commitments at home that I'll be in Lagos this number of hours, within this number of, you know, to maybe to meet an event, hoping that, you know, things will just go smoothly. A business and so, meeting. Yes, and when you disappoint people like that, you are supposed to be sorry and treat them better. Yeah. Mm. You're supposed to create comfort for them. But we saw our own people, our own brothers, being rubbish on the floor, about six people on one person, uh -huh. holding and stretching their legs. I thought they were carrying drugs, though. Honestly. You know? And the way they were stretching them, I was like, ah, even if this person will add firearms, is it? Yeah. Uh, look at the way they were treating yeah. them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the only thing I see here is discrimination. We discriminate exactly. against ourselves. If it was a white man whose flight was delayed, mm -hmm. trust me, those Lome officials will not treat that person anyhow. Mm -hmm. They will find a way to appease you. They will tell you, we are sorry, uh, it's been delayed a bit. We are working towards it. You will see them. They are trained. They know what they are supposed to do. But once it comes to a black man and it comes to a Nigerian, there's a way these other African countries look at us. And I will blame it largely on our own governments. Over the years, we've seen how our government has acted like it did not care, especially towards citizens outside the country. We're still struggling to get the care we that we're inside this place. But especially for those ones outside, we, we've noticed that lackadaisical attitude, except it's a VIP and you see the government moving. If these African nations know that if you mess with a Nigerian, we come for you, they will sit up. It's, it's as simple as making sure that your customer service is being given to everybody. Everybody gets your utmost excellence mm -hmm. of service. Everybody's giving, whether you're a white, you're a black, you're an Indian, you're a Chinese, whoever you are, if you come into our airport and anything happens, we will take care of you. And you, are, you make it very transparent. But what I see is because they have this notion against Nigerians, when it comes to things like they just assume everybody coming from Nigeria All is right. either a thief <clears throat> or a drug peddler, and they treat us anyhow. You are addressed how you, how you Put yourself out there. And, and it seems like as though we also don't treat each other the right way. I mean, they see how even our security operators within our countries treat us. So how do you expect somebody to respect you outside? Even, even within your own shores, you don't respect yourself. So um, while I agree that if there is any shred of discrim discrimination from, it looked very discriminatory. It looked like there was abuse of power and there was um, suppression of someone's ability to easily express themselves. Uh, I don't want to say that this is being done because we're black, because there are videos that I've seen in the Oyimbo airports, in the abroad, in the, Amer in the US of A, where people were forcibly, force, um, forcefully being removed from the aircraft, or um, people who, who misbehaved were That's being different. treated the way anybody that misbehaves is being treated. So I feel that um, we are being accused, we're accusing them based on what we've seen other countries do to Africans, to us. Let us give mm -hmm. that investigation time to find out specifically what they did. Because you know I'm trying to did. understand if I'm at the airport, if I'm at the airport and I am politely asking, oh, can you please find out, can, can you help me understand what's going on? What are you doing to resolve my case? Nobody will come and drag me out of the place. So there must have been a level of aggression from the part of those that have been dragged as well, if we check very Wait. well. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.